hi, Daniel. Um, so you're probably my favorite speaker here today, but I miss your talks. We spoke at the same time. So as someone who I told everyone else to go see, can you briefly summarize what you spoke about today? Well, I mean, first of all, thank you. <laughs> and uh, geez, it's probably better that you missed it in this case, <laughs> because we'll keep the illusion. Uh, but what I focused on was some of the problems in visualizing the connectivity of the human brain and uh, a few of the solutions that we're working on for dealing specifically with the visual element of understanding connections in the human brain. Pretty pictures. Pretty, a lot of pretty pictures, but also hopefully pictures that convey some sort of content. And the problem that we're dealing with is any way that you visually represent something is going to, uh, in that, there are inherent conceptions of how it's organized, uh, theoretical foundations to it, and just being as aware as possible of the decisions that are made in that process. That's what we're, we're thinking about a lot lately. And do you think that uh, um, what you spoke about today, do you think you um, made people interested in, uh, in the subject that we were talking about? Like, I mean, what you, what you speak about and, and, and your background, uh, I know you're at Max Planck, and uh, it's quite advanced for a lot of the people here. Do you think that uh, you got a good feedback, a, a, a good um, you know, discussion that might go on in your audience? Well, what's, it, what's always fun, I think, about leaving a purely scientific uh, context when discussing these ideas, is that it opens you up again to the kinds of questions that initially motivated you to enter the field. And it reminds what you of What were they well, out of interest? Uh, not specifically here, but also in, in other events as well, questions of like, what is consciousness? Uh, are we, how close are we to being able to upload a brain? Um, what does it mean to understand all the connections? How can we relate that to function? And it's a nice reminder that sometimes as researchers, you're living in a very enclosed, insular world. Um, but there are bigger questions that everybody can get excited about. Yeah. So it's a nice way to step outside and see it all with a different perspective. And it's been a lot of fun to interact with uh, a more technology-oriented crowd today yeah. to discuss those. I mean, uh, personally for me, I mean, uh, I mean, I run this discussion group with Bill and Singularity, but like, the term consciousness to me is like, it means something so subjective to everyone who I, who I speak to about it. It's like, it seems to be the most conceptual term. It's like the term singularity, it's like the term uh, consciousness is like, I mean, how do you, um, with the field of research you're doing at Max Planck, like how would you define, because I'm curious to know, the term consciousness? Like, I, what, I, is it, what does it mean to you? Well, I, I would, I, I've got a good friend who has a t-shirt that says, <laughs> I think, a, what is it, something like, I think, a, I believe a scientist looking at a problem is just as stupid as the next guy. <laughs> and so my research doesn't focus on consciousness per se, and, and yeah. I, I preface it with that to say that I'm going to sidestep the question because of that. Um, because any way that I would be understanding consciousness is probably using similar terms that anybody else would take when they introspect on what it means to be having this inner monologue or uh, inner video playing of, of experience and reflecting on experience. Um, but what we are trying to understand is what is the structure of the brain that would give rise to that. Yeah. And the question of how it gives rise to that is still one that in many ways is far off. Yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a long way off. And like we're such at the early stages of being able to understand uh, exactly what makes us us and to understand consciousness and to understand the brain. I mean, like it's such an exciting field to be in. And, and, and I feel that it's, it's at the very early days of what is a, a very long term project. But like, can you tell us a bit more about what you're doing at Max Planck and like, wh what is it like? What is your long term goal? Like, what would you like uh, in your in your scientific days to yes. be able to achieve? What do you so, want to learn? Yeah. So before I exit science and enter into some startup enterprise, <laughs> it would be a and lot die. of fun. Exactly. <laughs> it'd be a lot of fun to be able to look back and um, say we've been able to create a map of different cortical areas, yeah. uh, be able to understand the basic organization of the human brain from these kinds of uh, large-scale connection patterns, and to at least have the beginnings of how variability in that relates to individual differences. Yeah, definitely. So how does uh, the subtle, you, you know, we're all able to speak, we're all able to move our limbs, but how do the variations within things as complex as our personality, um, what is it in the structure that gives rise to that? And that would be an exciting question to begin to tackle. Yeah, and I mean, uh, I mean, just out of interest, like for me, I, what I've learned about the brain is that there's kind of two approaches to it. There's like this connectome approach versus this like hierarchical um, reverse engineering approach. And like, I mean, can you tell us a little bit more about what what side of uh, that kind of neurotechnology you're, you're focusing on at Max Planck? Like, uh, is there a is there a side that they're focusing on? Uh, well, th there are many different groups that are dealing with um, this field, and. 
I would say that there are folks that are working on the problem of how can we reverse engineer it? How can we build something that computationally behaves like the brain? Uh, the work that, that I'm doing at uh, the Institute that focuses on human cognitive and brain sciences is more the mapping part. Yeah. What, is, what is the basic structure? Uh, and th these hopefully will converge at some point. But it, at this point, a lot of the work remains in separate groups. And part of it is how do we encourage the dialogue between people? How do we get people working together? Yeah, I mean, it's so interesting for me. It's like, I, I think I said when I saw you speak last time, it's like one approach is kind of like the architect looking down and, and mm -hmm. being able to understand. The other one's like the person who's building every brick and trying to build every brick and work out what every brick is to like be able to understand and, the brain. And to so create something that behaves like a brain. Exactly. And I mean, what defines us and how we work is just such a complicated subject. It's like, it's so inspiring. It defines philosophy. It just defines cognitive psychology. It defines social sciences. And uh, I mean, like, do you think right now that uh, where we're at in uh, terms of like neuroscience and cognitive science is, uh, you know, um, do, do you think that the funding and the, the things that we're doing right now is it the best it can be, or do you think it could be better? I could always I, be better. I'm, right? I'm thrilled by the amount of both support uh, from governments as well as public interest there is in the topic. Yeah. And uh, it, what's wonderful about working in neuroscience now is that it's attracting a very diverse group of people. Yeah. with uh, different backgrounds from different disciplines. So scientifically, it's a fun place to be. Yeah. Uh, I would always say that we could use more support, but right now I would say that people are moving as fast as they can, and all it takes is more creative, uh, passionate people involved in the field to make it go faster. Yeah, well, I can say I'm definitely supporting you guys, and uh, thank you for inspiring us all and having uh, such, a, such a great uh, performance day. I'm so sad I missed it, but uh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.